All right, here we're up next with our first fight of the night with Ali. All right, here comes his opponent, Mohammed Hassan Ishmael, oh, coming wow. in from Shams Academy. Oh, that's right. We were expecting some uh, Taekwondo uh, stand-up fighting out of, uh, out of Mohammed. That's right. You know, he's uh, looking ready. It looks like he's got that Muay Thai short, so um, uh, and it kind of tells me that he's ready to throw some knees and some uh, and some uh, kicks. Yeah, it's interesting. You can kind of uh, tell a little bit about uh, how the fighter, uh, what he what he chooses to wear to the ring, about maybe about his style. Right, and especially in these low, kind of in the um, in the beginning stages of somebody's career, um, uh, where the fighters are developing, they're just learning these new skills, and uh, this is exciting to watch. They, they've been training this entire time for the last six, eight months, and they're kind of thrown out, the, out here uh, to kind of display those new skill sets. And this is something I enjoy watching. Right, so you're not only getting fighters who are now uh, these days training purely mixed martial arts from the beginning, but you're still getting these fighters who are coming from a striking background like Taekwondo or Muay Thai and or uh, collegiate wrestling. Um, coming in and, and trying to uh, expand their, their skill set and and take part in martial arts. Well, this is very exciting. Uh, we're going to be seeing Ali stepping in. Now, remember, Ali is 32 years old and is going into his first amateur mixed martial arts uh, competition. Yeah, a little little bit old for, uh, you know, beginning, but um, you look at fighters nowadays and, and you know, uh, having successful careers into their early 40s. So... You know, he's still got uh, some good years ahead of him. Let's see how he starts this off. And it looks like we have uh, Muhammad. He's getting ready as well. He's, he's only 20 years old, so this is a older gentleman against a younger uh, fighter. And uh, But both of them are about the same skill set. They both uh, haven't been training very long. And uh, this is the first fight of the night, so it's exciting. Looks like we've got some good head movement coming from Muhammad. All right. Ali's probing with that jab a little bit. Yep. Uh, but it looks like he's keeping his hands down. Now what's important is that uh, Ali keeps those hands out, pumps that jab out, jab out and uh, be able to defend himself and counter uh, against Muhammad's, his, Muhammad's overhand right. Well, he definitely has a reach advantage, um, but he is keeping his chin a little high, so we'll see if he decides to keep it standing or take this to the ground. All right, here we go. So we can still have some good, some good movement. There's that Muay Thai kick that we were expecting so, so from this Taekwondo gym. Again, he's got some good head movement. He's moving in head, throwing the uh, left hook a lot. There's that overhand right. A little wild with the punches, but again, these guys are amateurs, and they are you know, a little amped up for this, so you're going to get some, some heavy punches being thrown. Yeah, I'm actually you know, pretty impressed by both of these fighters' composure for their first time. Um, after the first couple exchanges, they have a little bit of mutual respect for each other now. And it uh, looks like... Uh, uh, it's 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 they're kind of a feel out process now after the right. initial right a few flurries and you notice this being an amateur event uh, they are wearing shin pads um, we want to again we're here to protect the fighters give them experience they're not getting paid for this so there's no reason to take damage unnecessarily that's a really good uh, observation there uh, Pete I think um, one of the rules here is that in uh, there's in the amateur mixed martial arts competitions. Oh, no nice overhand nice right. Nice overhand, that's right. There's no there's no elbows or knees to the head. Uh, there are kicks to the head, but there are no elbows, knees to the head, uh, or, or... And, and in this event, particularly, uh, there are no elbows whatsoever um, to the body or the head. That's right, Pete. There's zero elbows in this. So. <laughs> I think okay. that's good. We don't want to get it uh, anywhere. Ali with cut. the takedown. Okay, so now Ali's on the top control. Now he's That's throwing down he some bombs. It's, he's definitely working the ground and pound. At least trying to get up. Uh, now I'm the sorry, bottom trying to get up. The bottom fighter, as you can see, it is legal to kick a opponent standing over you. So he can kick not only to the body but to the head. As you can see, that one was towards the head. And, oh, there it is! Nice hit by Ali. Now, if Ali can just maintain this top control, he can deliver a lot of damage to his opponent. We're going to see if Muhammad has been practicing on the ground and if he'll be able to stand up from this. Now, if you see, Muhammad's kind of tur turning away oh, oh, from Ali. He's got an Americana. He's working an oh, arm lock. Tight. That is tight. Oh, that. What he's doing is an Americana. It's, a, it's kind of a shoulder 
crank. Now, if Ali were just to extend out the arm just a tiny bit more, he might be able to get the leverage to, to uh, attack the shoulder. And that is time. First round Good. is over. Not a bad first round for both fighters. Um, looking like uh, Ali kind of edged that out towards the end with the takedown and top control. I agree. I think that, that definitely goes to Ali in that round. Uh, the ref was a little bit late there on the stoppage. Uh, looks like there was a little issue with the, uh, the sounding of the bell. At, you know, uh, when you have uh, an outdoor open air uh, event like this and a, a, a fairly large crowd, it can be a, a little bit noisy, uh, you know, a lot of background noise. So um, we, you can expect to see s something like that happen. Pete, what would you be telling Ali in his corner right now? Well, I would uh, advise him to uh, get him to the ground again. There's no reason it appears to stay on the feet with this guy who apparently is, is very comfortable there. That's where he wants it to be. Um, he did well once he got him to the ground. So, you know, look for Ali to come out and um, shoot on this uh, young Muhammad. Yeah, and Muhammad looked like he was fish out of water on the ground. So it looks like he needs to dedicate a little bit more time on the uh, grappling aspect of the sport. Um, and uh, like I said, these are, these are young fighters, they're just starting, so this is, this is actually a pretty good matchup. Definitely not a blowout. Okay, looks like we're still having the feeling out process from both fighters. Ali seems a little bit timid. Yeah, Muhammad yeah, stalking. definitely does not like the stand-up from Muhammad. And there's that takedown. Good down. slam. Good now he's, he's, he uh, looks like uh, Ali landed in the guard of Muhammad. With, that means his legs are wrapped around his back. Now, is that necessarily one of the uh, good positions to be in to deliver ground and pound? Um, it's, it's not the best, but it is a safe position. You really are, um, it's, a, it, it's a lot easier to control the opponent. Um, and uh, he just has to watch out for submissions from here. So it's, it's not the best position. But uh, we'll, we'll see if he decides to advance his position or throw more strikes from the guard. Right. I, and I think especially now, I wouldn't expect too many uh, uh, attacks or assaults from Mohammed, who's on the ground right now, um, because it already seems like he's not very uh, knowledgeable on the ground. And uh, looks like Ali has taken full advantage of that and staying on top. All right, we got some action, and they're back in the guard. Good flurry. Good flurry from uh, Muhammad. It was a good attempt for him trying to stand up, uh, but right now, as you can see, he's just going to be getting uh, damaged from Ali uh, repeatedly here. All right, looks like Ali's getting There's a nice escape. Oh, but he, he just wasn't quick enough, and Ali is now on top. Okay, he's taking the uh, side mount. A much better position to throw strikes. Uh, you know, you have a, a little bit more control over the, per the person on bottom's arms, and he's going for that submission attempt again, looking to end this in the second round. So it looks like the older fighter in Ali is coming in here with a submission again with the Americana. Now he's got the mount position. Let's go of it. Now it looks like he's delivering the finishing punches here. Just, they Full have mount. no attack, right, exactly, beautiful. Very difficult position to get out of, um, and if you're not uh, experienced on the ground, then it's almost impossible. You are going to end up getting ground and pound or turn your back and get choked, so. Now, it looked like Ali wasn't connecting those punches, but I think the difference here that the ref was uh, looking is that the fighter Muhammad on the bottom was not intelligently defending himself Therefore, the ref had no choice but to but to stop that fight. Right. He didn't look like he knew how to get out of that position. And, um, you know, after a number of strikes, whether they're uh, damaging or not, you know, you have to uh, look to just stop the fight and, and um, give these guys uh, That's right. some chance to go back, go back and get, gain some more skills and come back in here. Well, here we are for the official announcement. Nice work by Ali. You know, he stayed calm. Uh, you know, he was working the jab. Um, he needs to work a little bit uh, on that striking. His chin was a little high, but uh, he got away with that with the, the also uh, inexperienced Mohammed. Right. Right. So, and here we are for the interview.
Yeah. I need some water.